Yeah. Oh, no, I'm um, hiring. Things- you know, I mean, anyone who can write a book, let alone the fucking 50 books he's put out or whatever. I mean, having just finished my first one, oh, my God. Yay. It's like a fucking breach birth Caesar. No. <laughs> Shout out to Adela. I mean, fuck, girlfriend. You have patience and dedication and an eye for detail. I know this might come as a surprise to you, but I'm not really a detailed person. I'm exacting, I'll be really pedantic with words chosen, etc., to try and defy. But as far as the details, oh, moving right along. Yeah. So this has yeah. been like, I've got to read it again. <laughs> no, I'm sure she felt that too. But anyway, yeah. so a shout out to her dedication and thank you, thank you, thank I mean, you. So what did you I had no yeah. idea I was so sadly fond. I don't know what that is. Oh. Of commas. Of the comma. I had commas up the yin yang in places that shouldn't be a comma. <laughs> I had full stops. I'm just, I don't respect the full stop. I don't have a full stop in my life. So, you know, every five minutes there's a full stop. And of course, other things are like, I must have been in and out of a stone haze. I don't know what the fuck I've written and neither did she. So I had a chance to rewrite it. And it was cool, you know. So I changed a few things in Mythos of Mu as well. I'm not sure if we are in a four-armed galaxy. I feel like it's a multi-armed galaxy. So what it is, is it's my memories of how this shit went down. And it's the first lot of it. So each of my dimensions of self has an experience of insertion into the matrix. And I'm writing about that too. And as I write about it, it's been really helping me to recover the stuff that I inserted with that self in those dreamings. So it's helped the decompartmentalization. It's helped lift that and bring all the bits of me together. So I'm having the time of my life. But yes, oh. out now. Galactic. Mess. It's a I loved reading it. Oh, thanks, darling. I did, I did. It was I read it, it took me a while to get through it, and only because it's not that it was it was a hard read, it was more that I really wanted to fully get what was happening within it. I didn't want to just kind of read it intellectually. I really wanted to have an experience. So it took me a little while, but it's like, I swear, it, I was not the same after I read it, like personally. <laughs> oh, no. Like I was. Oh, no. <laughs> but, Is that a good thing? No, but I've, it's, what it did for me, I kind of I felt what you felt in that. Transmission. Excellent. Yeah. My work is done. And, and that's what solidified so much for me. Oh, good. And it also made me m- more dedicated to completely destroying this consciousness invasion. That's what it really did. Yeah. Because the, the description of the organic and the way they fucked us over, I could feel that trauma within there and the – and how they did it and how it's still resonant in the cells of my body. Like still in your RNA, darling. Yes. Well not long, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's it was a great awakener. It was a really wonderful time. Oh good, of, good. Because what I've experience. done is I've, I've woven juju in there that the transmission is it's igniting your memories. So you will have your experience not so much come online, but start to be triggered on how you got here what your truth is, because that's all it is, is my experience related. doesn't make it dogma, doesn't make it the only way. It just makes it, here's what the way I felt it, the way I'm experiencing it and how it's helping me to take back my shit, take back my land, (laughs) you know, Mm. just have a chance. I mean, I'm here. I might as well have a good fucking time and for myself, not for anyone else, you know. So, yeah. Have a read or have a download, upload, reload, whatever the fuck. And um, I've already started on expanding on the Egyptian magics, you know, like the actual who the players really are, like who the baddies are or who the ones that came in in the invasion are and who are the actual Anthropos 11 gin. And how yeah. just because you were gin didn't mean you were a good guy either. Just quietly. Just quietly. Right. You know, oh, the lack of integrity doesn't stop. No, yes. no, no, no. Yeah. It's real housewives on acid, babe. So um, I'm having mm. fun with that. But 
Um, yeah, yeah, out now, released August, Dark Moon.